Welcome to the Nutrigenomic Nation podcast with Brian Highfield, certified nutritionist, author, speaker, and founder of multiple successful companies in the health world. Brian is known for educating healthcare professionals and others on improving their health and their life through breakthroughs in nutrition, technology, and biochemistry. On the podcast, Brian interviews thought leaders in the world of nutrition and natural health. He and his guests share the secrets of a whole life natural approach to health and the life altering results you can get by making easy changes to your diet and daily routine. Well, welcome to another episode of Nutridomic Nation, where we talk about topics related to your genetic health. So we have a, a very special guest with us today. We have Dr. Vivek Soham. He is the CEO and founder of Nimbus Brain and Spine. So welcome to the program, Dr. Soham. Thank you. So uh, we want to get to know you a little bit. Our audience wants to know uh, your background and what made you want to become a chiropractor in the first place. So let's let's hear your story. Yeah, um, I actually wanted to be a chiropractor since I was nine. And uh, we came from a bit of like a natural health background. Um, and it was actually when my mom got in a pretty horrific car accident. She was struggling to walk, move and we were living in the UK at the time, so healthcare is free. So we tried everything else, and it was a sort of a last ditch attempt. In that, when she took me to uh, the appointment, when she went to go see the chiropractor, to see someone take away like so much pain from your mother's life with their hands, I was like, "That's magic. That's exactly what I want to do." Um, and yeah, I sort of just dedicated the rest of the, the the studying and career to becoming a chiropractor, or what I thought how I was going to practice. Um, and then during my schooling, I found like the specialty in, in how I really want to sort of um, help people in, still with chiropractic, but just in this very different way. So, so I know you use some, some unique approaches to, to chiropractic. I mean, you do some things a little bit different than, than most chiropractors. Can you, can you talk a little bit about, about, you know, how, how you're different and, and how, how is that better or, or how the results that, that you're getting, uh, bringing you more people that are uh, looking for your services. Yeah. And so the technique I, we utilize in the office is called NUCCA, uh, N-U-C-C-A. And uh, NUCCA works more with the, the brain and the nervous system. It focuses on like the junction on the, of the head and neck right at the top of the spine. Um, and it doesn't matter whether you have knee pain or low back pain, even though we don't see as many of those in the office, um, it's tracing back whatever issues you have to the root cause. So if you're a candidate for nuca care, we'll obviously have you in the office. Um, but a lot of migraines, headaches, and hormonal imbalances uh, make up the majority of, of the patients we see here. And a lot of people are looking for something that's not traditional because there's no twisting, popping, or cracking. Um, it's a low force general technique. Once we've mapped all the neurology, we've looked at the x-rays. Um, we take very specific x-rays to get like a 3D image of what's going on um, and how the brain, the brain stem and the spinal cords impacted, um, measuring down to a quarter of a degree, half a millimeter. And it matters because this could have happened when you were a kid or any point in your life, these traumas or micro traumas add up and our body's like a canvas. So it's trying to figure out how life has happened to you and how it's created your pattern. And we sort of just sort of unwind um, all those traumas, both internally, um, like from those injuries, chemically, from any hormonal imbalances, and so on and so forth. So, how does I mean, how does that work? You said there's not a not a lot of uh, adjustments or twisting. I mean, what yeah. what what actually happens? So, um, the real big thing is in order to get this uh, um, very precise, like vector or angle that we adjust that we take that from the X-rays, um, like mapping not just how the mechanics of the body are, um, but also like the weight of the skull and like where the center of gravity is and everything. So it can get very tedious. We don't really talk to our patients about that, but once they're sort of set up on the table in that sideline position, um, it's like pushing a boulder. We've done all the math. We know exactly which path it's gonna go down and we create a, um, a more of a gentle low buildup of a force at that head and neck to use it like a lever to create this cascade of events to still like we're adjusting up here and you now have don't have any low back pain because the way that the body compensates we start to twist and turn so it's just really like mapping all of that and then taking that less is more approach instead of like forcing things to where they need to be or should be 
um, not that doesn't always work. So, so is this a, a one-time adjustment, or is this something that people would would have to uh, get adjusted periodically as they get out of balance? Yeah, in in it is like trying to create that balance and that symmetry, like you just said. The what also sets us apart from more of that traditional chiropractic route is it's not about like coming in consistently. Um, it takes about 90 days for the neurology and the structure to change. So our phase one of care is really like in that 90 days, our average patient comes in around 15 times. The majority of those visits will be at the beginning, um, twice a week for the first two weeks, but it's getting people to hold their alignment for a week at a time, then see them every other week, once a month, once every other month. Then right now, our, one of our patients is holding their alignment for about nine months at a time. She comes in to get checked about every six months now. Um, but yeah, we don't adjust her. So it's really getting your body to hold its alignment, hold its structure and be able to handle life better because we've got that neurological foundation. So you're not dependent on myself. You're not dependent on, on something. It's your body. You have that trust in your body to go on and run, jump, lift your kids up, whatever you need to do. Now, do you, uh, do you service a lot of uh, athletes or people that are in the sports uh, with this technique? Yes, we do. Um, more recently, because that's my passion, is more on the human performance side. Um, even though the most of our office is um, female-based and just like general public, uh, we have a golf simulator in the office now. We work with golfers um, looking at increasing, and we have been sort of tracking the data with research. So we have golfers, um, one professional basketballer, and one professional sprinter um, as well. So just understanding how we can create more ground force reactions, increase like the smaller numbers and, and get them healing quicker and performing better because everyone's an athlete, but perform like professional athletes just need a bit more care because they're consistently under that. So talk a little bit about the, the science of backing because I, when I, I've, I heard the, about this technique a couple of years ago and, and I was very skeptical in the, in the beginning, uh, but talk to those skeptics out there about, you know, what, what type of research, research <clears throat> backs up uh, this technique and, and the results that you're getting. Yeah. So Nuka is also like the organization. Um, it's one of the largest upper cervical organizations. Um, and it's in ties with the upper cervical research foundation, which I actually serve as the editorial board, um, the co-chair for that, um, which is all again, research based and trying to provide resources, not just for patients, but the doctors themselves to, to continue developing. Now, Nuka made its name with uh, the blood uh, a blood pressure study. Um, we call it the blood pressure study because it was like the really big one that put us on the map. Um, just showing that the top two blood pressure medications combined were not as effective as one Nuka adjustment over a 30 day period wow. in terms of like blood pressure lowered. So there is slowly, especially in the last like five years, there's been a bigger push to start publishing the data. We're very good at recording because it's such an objective analytical technique. Um, the, of the 250 new chiropractors that are in the world, we have a lot of data, just not a, um, we haven't been publishing as consistently. So there is enough out there to back the, um, the validity and the objectivity of, of the actual work we do though. Um, how misalignments at the top part of the neck impact the brainstem, certain positions cause pressure and tension on um, different areas of that brainstem that are responsible for cardiovascular health, which is why it helps with blood pressure, respiratory, immune function. Um, there was a CD4 plus cell count, which is like the, um, the baseline cell for immunity, for white blood cells, and showing how um, upper cervical care and adjustments help with that. Um, there's also a lot of studies and work done on concussions and, and brain health, TBIs and healing like that. So I've even heard stories of, of couples that were having trouble conceiving and that this type of technique actually helped them. Have you heard that? Um, I have, I don't um, claim it in my office. Uh -huh. um, I have helped a few couples who are struggling. They went through um, various sort of cares and treatments. And the reason why we look at a lot of um, patients with hormonal imbalances, when we start talking about the gut to um, gut brain connection when we start looking at the brain stem it's impacting how certain hormones are being released when they're being released um, and like which sort of fight or flight or rest and digest type of nervous system mode you're in so it can help 
when you're balanced, you're more likely to be able to conceive, but I would definitely not, um, just as like scientifically, I haven't seen anything there, but I do, um, I will be open with my patients. I'm like, Hey, you may be more likely to conceive if we get everything in alignment, we get your body working right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like I said, I was a skeptic in the beginning. I actually had an adjustment, um, uh, once and, and I, I saw results almost immediately, uh, with that. So it, it, it really squashed my skepticism when, when I had that talk more about the, the sports aspect of it, because, um, I, you were saying that this is, this is kind of a new thing in sports and, uh, not many people are even aware of it. And there's probably a huge opportunity there for, uh, whether they're a professional athlete or they're just the everyday, um, you know, golf, well, you mentioned golf, uh, as well. Yeah. So it can help anyone. Yeah, and even though it's still working at the top part of the neck, really simply put, no matter who comes through our door, we're reconnecting your brain to your body on a much more profound level. It's creating that neurological foundation so you can increase your performance in those different aspects. You're able to recruit more muscles. You're able to actually absorb all the nutrients you're taking in. So there's many layers to, like, especially with the professional athletes that we're working with on the human performance side, um, with the... Um, current research study that we're doing, we're seeing like an, on average after six weeks with no change in training or routine, um, 7.8 yards increase in distance off the tee. And everyone wants to hit further. It's like the mm -hmm. buzzword um, with our basketballers and our sprinters. We're actually increasing like how explosive they are um, for that vertical jump, pushing off out of the blocks. Um, yeah, we had a, a gentleman here who's... Um, attempting to be at the coming up Olympics, not the, not the one just gone. And he ran a sub 10 only three times in his career. Um, he ran a sub 10 three times in the last three weeks. Wow. So, and he, we've only been working with him for that three weeks. So the, the results are sort of immediate because we're balancing the body. Now he's not worrying about any injuries or the, the neural patterns and pathways are able to just sort of fire cleanly without any interference. Great. Uh, is there anything you do nutritionally in, in your office to, to really uh, help support uh, this getting the body and the, and the brain back in balance? Yeah. And, and nutrition and, and actual like tissue health is super important. Um, we have our phase two and we phase two is sort of flexible um, sometimes depending on like where the patient's at. It's, everything's really tailored. It's not like a cookie cutter for everyone that comes in. Um, we'll introduce it at different parts, but really we work with a functional medicine doc, uh, doctor actually here in um, the San Diego area um, and then another one in Pasadena, looking at once we've done the neurological foundation work, um, connected that brain to the gut and the body, now that you're able to absorb the nutrients and all the food that you're eating, because it doesn't matter how healthy you eat, if you lacking efficiency, you may actually not need to take all those supplements or eat as much of that food, um, which is what we've noticing with a lot of the patients and speaking with these docs. Um, but yeah, we do, we, we don't provide in-house nutritional support, but our staff and our team is like very well educated on making sure we know when to introduce certain things, when that person is at a point where their body can start taking on more stimuli having a healthier lifestyle. So sort of like doing the base work before we do anything else. Very cool. Now, uh, one of my favorite questions to ask our guests is uh, if you had a huge audience, you're sitting in an arena of th tens of thousands of people that want to feel better, want to improve their health, and you had the microphone and could speak to them, what, what advice would you give? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, what advice would I give? Uh, preventative and maintenance is better than crisis care. I have seen, like I ask very commonly, one of the first questions we ask in consultations are, have you had any head and neck injuries? In the past, doesn't matter how early. Um, I'm going to take a look at the x-ray so I can see sometimes like with a lot of degree of certainty, you probably had this around eight or 10 and they're coming in and they're in their forties. And this is when the first big injury happened and then they had a lot of other stuff happen. Pain is the last thing we feel. We have actually such few pain nerve fibers that it's like the check engine light that goes on in the car. 
Um, that's when we need to do something. That's when like we need to repair it, but it was the 10,000 miles, 100,000 miles of wear and tear. Now we need to fix something, but this was already going on. Um, so preventative and maintenance is way more cost effective and um, better just because you, you don't want to get to the point where you're in pain and now you're spending more and spending more time to fix these issues. So Yeah, and I love your analogy there because you're right. I mean, most people are very reactive to their health and, and not proactive. And I love your analogy with, with the car because, I mean, those those check engine lights, I mean, we should call those idiot lights <laughs> because when they came on, the problem, it's, 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 you can't do anything about it anymore, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's already done. And, and I, it's, it's, you're right. It's those thousands of miles of buildup to that point yeah. that got you there. And it's much more, uh, you're just much better off taking those preventative measures from, from the start. Yeah, like it's, people still have misalignments without pain. I see very tough cases and they don't feel like people just come in like, hey, I, I had you do stuff with the brain. I want to help my brain fog and my cognitive function. Like, great, we can help you do that. And they look just as bad as the people who came out of car accidents. So yeah, it's that, yeah, that preventative maintenance is getting you to the point where you don't have to worry about your health. Like, there's so much more to life to worry about if you can trust who you are and control like this is the best thing you can control is your body um why not sort of take it into your own hands yes exactly well we're running out of time is there uh any topic that we haven't covered that you wanted to speak to today um no i i think we sort of hit everything on the on the head there and and where we're at with um what i do and, and how people can benefit from taking different approaches to look after the health in a natural way. Awesome. So well, how can our audience get in touch with you or connect with you to learn more? Yeah, um, take a look at our website. It's uh, nimbusbrainspine.com. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be a link mm -hmm. um, somewhere below. Uh, and then you can always call or email. All the details are on the website. Email us at support at nimbusbrainspine.com. And yeah, take a look. There's a lot of resources on the website. We're still always producing more blogs and videos. So we're happy to, to just provide a resources to create a healthier community. Awesome. Good, good stuff. Well, our guest today has been Dr. Vivek Soham. He is a chiropractor out of near San Diego, California. Uh, and uh, we hope you all enjoyed the, our conversation today. And we hope that you join us next time where we talk another topic related to your genetic health. So thank you so much for being with us today, Dr. Soham. Thank you. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.